And I'm excited to see it because it's, you don't need a lot, guys. You mm. don't need a lot. If that guy can come in for six, seven minutes and apply pressure and shoot the three ball, make a couple shots, it makes a world of difference. Hey, McCoy. Hey, McCoy. during his G League stint. And the thing that stood out to me is he said, this is a guy that understands his place right now in the game at 35. Uh, it's it's not some delusions of grandeur that it, that he has coming in here. So Well, that's good news because uh, it, it is a flyer. Like, yeah. appearance. It's a 10-day contract for a reason. And yes, there's still the 15th roster spot available. They could use another guard on the roster. But like you said, he's not a traditional true point guard that everyone has been clamoring for all season yeah. he's a score first guard he always has been mm -hmm. um but he can help with the three-point shooting if he gets minutes like vogel said he said he said it point blank like i don't know how much he's going to play because we signed him for depth because Saban lee on that two-way contract he only has four games of eligibility mm -hmm. left before they have to convert him so mm -hmm. i i'm not gonna have very high expectations but it is a cool story for him to be back in the league even if it winds up only being 10 to 20 days right it is it's neat and bradley beals shared a little bit of his perspective around that as well uh talking about uh it battling his way back and what he thinks he can contribute to the suns speaks volumes man because I'm, I'm a huge it fan from competing against him for so many years when he was in boston and uh, you know, being his teammate in D.C. as well, like I've, I've got a chance to see him every single day, put the work in and, and uh, you know, the challenges that he went through as a player, uh, you know, overcoming some injuries, too. But, you know, to be able to come back now, like you said, it's very unheard of. Um, but I commend him man. I salute him. He's always been a worker. Uh, he believes in the process. He trusts his work. And, you know, that's just the evolution of today's game and just the evolution of who he is. You know, he's. He's always going to be a hooper. You know, there's nothing that can stop him or set him back um, from accomplishing his goals and dreams. And, and he's one that lives it out, man. So he's a great prime example, I feel like, to kids and to a lot of people, you know, of just going out and, and just keep pushing. You know, no matter if people tell you no, no matter if people shut you down, uh, he's heard it all, you know, and to see him back is, I love it and I'm excited for him. With the experience you've had with him as a teammate, what can he provide to the locker room for you guys right now? Uh, one, we all know he's a good offensive player for sure, but I think just his leadership, his ability to be able to uh, lead, lead a locker room, um, encourage guys, you know, give his, his, his IQ of the game, um, which is which is super high. I think he'll definitely help me out a lot with running a point and just giving me some uh, different viewpoints and ways that I can attack, uh, can attack that I may have not have seen before, you know. So, um, and then just when we plug him in, like he's he's going to be dynamic for us. He's going to be a scorer. He's going to be able to help us. So you know, we need that that shooting, his shooting ability, because uh, we need more threes. Need yeah. more threes. There we go. Yeah. Here we go. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a, a take. Real, real talk. It is going to get an opportunity. Mm. I, I really do. I do, I really believe he's going to get an opportunity, and I believe he's going to make. I I think he has a good chance to make good on that opportunity because of the construction of this roster and what we need and what we're looking for. Um, I, I think, I think this guy's going to actually play a little more than people think. And I actually think he'll be the 15 guy. Okay. I, I think they, they'll keep him for the whole, for the rest of the season and the playoff run. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm excited to see it because it's, you don't need a lot guys. You mm -hmm. don't need a lot. If that guy can come in for six, seven minutes and apply pressure and shoot the three ball, make a couple shots, it makes a world of difference for this basketball team. So I'm intrigued, man. I really am. I wasn't as much this weekend, but didn't, doing a deep dive and having some conversations, watching the tape, I'm intrigued. I mean, there's a couple of people in the chat who are all saying, listen, I'll take IT over Saban Lee in those handful of minutes that are available for that last roster spot. Are you guys on the same boat or would yeah. you rather have Saban? No, I... Or do you need to see what maybe IT brings? Yeah, I have no idea what to because the numbers he's putting up in the G League are insane. But they're, it's the G great, League. But it's the G League for right. a reason. And he's a guy who has a lot of NBA experience. So you plug a guy like that into the G League, of course he's going to know how to play well. Right. In and that one of the things he's talked about in that environment was passing along knowledge and helping right. young guys out. Right. You're battling young guys. Right. Most and, of the time. and it's totally different situation what he's coming here into Phoenix to do versus his last couple stops with Charlotte. Yeah. And Dallas, those teams were not, they didn't have they the expectations that this Suns team has. So 
and and I don't know if it was the same opportunity either because he has an opportunity to contribute on a team that wants to make a deep playoff run. So I don't, I truthfully don't know what to expect. I think what you're hoping for out of it is the shooting, like we've mentioned, because mm-hmm. this team has to get up more threes, <clears throat> and someone who can be a paint touch. That is what Saban Lee does. He is not a good finisher around the rim. He's made like two threes all season long. So he definitely has his flaws, but the one thing he does well that he brings to the table is he's a pest defensively and he gets to the paint, Mm -hmm. which the Suns don't do enough. I don't know that Isaiah Thomas is a guy you have to hide on defense, and if he's not getting into the lane, then he's just another guy that's getting up shots and taking Mm -hmm. them from away from the guys that probably should be getting them. we got to admit, though, the stats, and I think we have a graphic for this in the G League, were pretty nuts They were with the Utah team, 32.5 points. A game, 5.3 assists, 3.3 rebounds, 1.3 steals, shot 44% from behind the arc. Like, I, <laughs> I, I get, I get, don't, you wouldn't expect that. But what it does tell me is the hip problems, all those things mm-hmm. uh, are probably better, yeah. subsided. Where could he <clears throat> give you some surprising minutes? Yeah. And we're talking about the 15th roster spot in right. reality. So, whether it's him, whether it's Saban, if you're seeing them play major minutes, something's horribly <laughs> gone wrong anyway. Yeah.